Hello there my fellow Holotail viewers and welcome to another Swaga video. Happy Monday everybody, hope you had a great weekend behind you. Before I get into today's Galactic Challenge video, let me first give a shout out to my latest patrons, Bad Feeling, Vendetta and Champ. Thank you guys and all my other patrons for your support, you guys are absolutely amazing. Now for today's challenge we are on Death Star and we have to face a squad of Imperial Troopers and you get bonuses for Clone Troopers. So let's just hop in, as always I'll cover the modifiers, the feats here and then show you some battles. Now if you're not interested in all of this uh, explanation and details you can just skip through through the battles. As always there will be YouTube chapters below. Uh, so today I'll show you three battles here. Um, so one, the first one will be with Ray Jedi training and droids which will complete the turn meter removal feat. Uh, and then uh, for the evasion feat I'll be using Jedi Knight, Revan and Jedi. And then finally I'll show you my clones there but you know because I do not have bad badge this time looks like 501st are simply not good enough uh, to complete tier 10 here so I'll just complete tier 6 which as you can see did not get me max rewards this time but anyway we'll get more into detail into this later now let's first have a look at the modifiers so the modifier for Death Star volatile energies essentially what it does is Every time an unit takes a turn, the Volatile Energy's ability will gain 5% and once it reaches 100%, the next unit there can then use it and this will instantly uh, defeat uh, the, the target. Now the issue with defeating is, because we are facing Imperial Troopers, they get free revives. So even though you do defeat them, they get revived. So, you know, it's not as useful this ability versus troopers because all it does is, well, yeah, okay, you remove one stack of endless ranks from them, but that's it. So it's not as powerful this time volatile energies as it has been in the past. Uh, while um, the modifier here for your clones is um, somewhat underwhelming here, uh, especially, you know, with 501st, you just get demolished very quickly. So this modifier doesn't really help you all that much. I'm not sure, I do not have Bad Batch clones uh, leveled up, so I'm not sure how they will perform, but I would imagine they can handle uh, this event no problem. And why clones, 501st clones would struggle against these guys? Because whenever you do have uh, Piet on the enemy side, Piet here in challenges usually uh, is very fast and so is Gideon, but the main issue is Piet there, if you hit one of his allies, they're gaining bonus turn meter. If you hit him, he can counterattack, call somebody to assist. So they're, you know, keeping him under control, you have to either use daze or stun. And 501st clones have neither. No stun, no daze. Cody's got a stun on his AoE, but Piet has, seems like he's got so high resistance here that I was just unable to land a stun on him with my Cody at all. As you can see, the best my clones could do here, tier 6, maybe I could get past tier 7, but I just wasn't bothered because, you know, I still won't get max rewards anyways. So Piet here really is the main threat, so you need to find a way how to control Piet. And Bad Batch, they have days and they have stuns, uh, so they're probably perfect clone team. To complete these, I don't have them, uh, they're all like, you know, 3 star, gear, 5, 6, 8 or whatever. Um, so the best I could do though was with clones, I'll show you that battle in the end. Now, as I mentioned before, we got a, a few feats here, so you have to remove 400% turn meter. And whenever I see turn meter removal feat, the first team I always think of is uh, Ray Jedi training with droids, because of bb 8s unique, you get lots of bonus turn meter for your droids in the beginning, then they get Ray going, and then you get your whole turn meter train going. And then you can remove turn meter from exposed enemies when you use special abilities as well. Then you've got mind trick there from Ray removing turn meter. So, you know, it's definitely a good team. Plus, you know, because of all that bonus turn meter that you're getting, you do need to have like crazy mods on these guys. You know, they can handle the job okay. And then whenever I see evasion, I think of Yoda and Hermit Yoda. Both of them can apply foresight uh, to enemies. So that's what I'll be doing uh, in the second battle. And finally, as mentioned before, third battle there. Uh, will be clones and I'll be showing you my battle there from tier 6. Alright, so let me show you my Ray team here. Um, obviously you will need Ray and the free droids and then the fifth one is kind of flexible. Um, 
obviously I use the resistance trooper there you can use uh, hero fin as well he's an excellent choice but I thought maybe resistance trooper could be more accessible to some of you so I wanted to show that even if you don't have hero fin resistance trooper can still do the job because he's getting lots of burnt bonus turn meter whenever you expose an enemy um, so and then you know he can keep using his special ability removing turn meter uh, from exposed enemies so my ray here um, she's obviously you know relic up here and I did have to make her a bit faster than I normally have because, you know, as mentioned before, Piet and Gideon are very fast. So I just wanted to make sure that my Ray is fast. Uh, up next, BB-8 here. He's at 333 speed as well. So again, I had to make him fast because Gideon there is insane fast on the... Uh, I'm not sure what his speed is. It's probably like 400 speed or something. Uh, so that's my BB-8 here. And then uh, Relic 7 R2-D2. Uh, he's at 289. And then uh, free PO, speed at 257. And then finally here, resistance trooper. Mods on him really don't matter so much because he's gaining bonus turn meter uh, from his unique anyways whenever you expose uh, an enemy. So really the only two characters that need to be super fast here is BB-8 and Ray, just so that you, they can get the whole uh, turn meter train going for you. And that's really it. All right, let's hop into the battle now and let me show how this one goes. All right, there we go. Okay, gonna wiggle first, booster meter to raid, then we can go ahead and remove Taunt from Short Trooper here. And from here, we can just go after Piet here, hopefully get a stun. Oop, no stun, as mentioned before, his tenacity is very high here. And here I will smoke screen actually 3PO because now 3PO himself will go in stealth. Because remember, Piet can counter attack, so I wanted to make sure that my guys are stealth. So when I do go after Piet, he doesn't counter attack. Now, one point, uh, one thing to point out here: unfortunately, you cannot land a critical hit there on Dark Trooper. So removing Termiter from him is slightly more challenging than removing Termiter from others, uh, because that's how you can use their basic from Free PO to ex apply Expose on Dark Trooper. Okay, here we go. Maybe get a stun on him, on him as well. Excellent. There we go. Go after short trooper there. Just I have their Piet uh, stunned. He has two stacks of confusion as well, so that counts as a day. So he won't be able to gain bonus turn meter. So we got now Piet under control. So there you go. I used volatile energy there to get rid of death trooper number one. Let's push back turn meter on Gideon. Okay go after death trooper again so remember we have to first exhaust the three stacks of endless ranks here uh, so they will keep getting revived and then also from Gideon's uh, as well um, abilities they get another revive as well so they all get lots of revives here but anyway uh, let's go ahead finish off Piet here so we got one more stack of endless, or endless ranks to go I almost got him Okay, he's stunned, so let's just keep him stunned there, so he doesn't do anything crazy. Again, smoke screen on 3PO, just get everybody in stealth, so we don't get any counter attacks from Pieti whenever we hit him. All right, so endless ranks exhausted, so it's pretty good now, but we still have to deal with revives from Gideon's uh, abilities here. So there you go, got a the revive there from Gideon. Put a hit on him again. Volatile energy ready to be used. But first, let's push back turn meter there on Gideon. And we can use Volatile Energy on Dark Trooper. Again, Dark Trooper on top of revives. He also, you know, has multiple stacks. <laughs> so you really have to take out Dark Trooper like seven times or, so, you know, five, four times. Depends on, you know, the endless rank situation. But anyway, we got pr pretty much things under control now. Again, another rev revive there because of Gideon. Okay, there we go. Okay, probably go after Gideon now. Get him out. Again, smoke screen over on 3PO. So we got everybody in stealth. Although now Piet is not there anymore, so it doesn't really matter. It was just a habit here, really. But you do have to keep an eye there on volatile energy because you don't want enemy to get a turn when it's charged because then they will use it on one of your guys. Okay, so it's only down to Dark Trooper here. Okay. So we are already another volatile energy there. Okay, there we go. Push back more turn meter here. Put a hit on him. Call BBA to assist, and boom, there we go. 
that's how I completed here the Termite removal feat using uh, Ray Jedi training and her band of droids. And then for the fifth one, again, whatever you have, um, just wanted to show you that, you know, you don't need resistance here of Finn if you don't have them. You can just use resistance trooper uh, in his place and he's good. But if you do have here of Finn, he's probably uh, a better option potentially because of Termiter swap and Ares and everything. All right, so for the second battle here, I'll use Jedi with both Yoda so they can keep spreading foresight so we can evade those attacks at least 10 times. And boy, you will need that evasion now because the AoEs and everything from these guys can be devastating. They hit very, very hard. Again, same as in first battle, trying to keep Piet under control. That's why Jedi Thurman lead here can help because of his strategic advantage that his leadership brings. So whenever your ally has a strategic advantage on them, they can't be counterattacked. So they can go ahead, hit Piet and, and not worry about counter counterattacks from him. Now here, obviously, you know, you've got flexibility here. Uh, you need to be able to somehow control Piet. So you can bring in General Skywalker here for the days or you can use Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, for stun you could use both together, but again trying to put you know a little bit more accessible team hopefully um, So either if General Skywalker or Genite look you will need them But I just want to show you, if you do not have Genite look these teams still works Obviously if you do have Jedi Master look probably that could work as well. I don't have him yet uh, So he's kind of the best Jedi team I think that I could put together now Piet has very high tenacity but uh, remember, Grandmaster's training, amongst other things, will add plus 50% potency to your Jedi. So we will put that over on General Skywalker, which will then boost his potency so he can then land a daze uh, on Piet through his high tenacity. And on top as well, Bastila here, um, her battle meditation again adds extra potency uh, to your uh, Jedi. So, you know, we'll have lots of potency then on our Jedi, so we'll be able to land those days on Piet and keep him under control. Now, let me show quickly my mods. Uh, now, my Jedi, they have good mods on, on them because I just love to use them everywhere. But again, I did not remote for this event, so I got Jedi Trevan here at pre-21 speed. Um, got Grandmaster Yoda here, um, and his speed is at 286. Uh, my Skywalker, his speed is at 267. And then Basti, Relic 1, her speed is at 293. And then finally Hermit Yoda, and his speed is at 312. So as you can see, I got pretty good speed on all of them, but you know, I've got my Jedi modded that way anyways. So that wasn't a problem this time. So let's hop into the battle and let me show you how this one will go. If you think it's going to be a cakewalk with this team, no. Uh, when I was doing my testing, actually, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker made it much easier because of his mass stun. You can keep them under control. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that you do not have Jedi Knight Luke. You can still work uh, with that. Anyway, here we go. Take go first. Uh, so first, you know, like I said, you have to keep Piet under control. So what I like to do is mark him. And because Revan has strategic advantage, even if we wouldn't land the stun there on Piet, um, obviously, you know, he won't be able to counterattack, but stun helps because now he won't be counterattacking. As mentioned before, Grandmaster's training uh, over on General Skywalker to boost his potency further, and now I was able to land a daze uh, over there. Okay, so no bonus turn meter for Piet when we are hitting his uh, allies. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to leave alone there. Um, Piet because he was dazed anyway okay so there you go we got evasion so we got more foresight now so we're able to evade next set of attacks let's remove the taunt from short trooper land uh, buff immunity on him so as, as in the first battle we have to first burn through these uh, endless stacks here all right so we got volatile energy to use so let's finish off Piet now they trigger the savior already Let's get more foresight going here because Dark Trooper there, he can put some big hits on you. But with Piet out of the picture, you know, this should be a win. But still, hit by no means cakewalk because any of these guys can one-shot your Jedi. Uh, especially Death Trooper there, he, he can put some big hits in you as well. Working on Dark Trooper next because, you know, he's their main damage dealer here really. So just want to get his stacks down. Uh, let's put Grandmaster's training over on Yoda now. Okay, all right, ability block Gideon, so he doesn't do anything silly here. 
let's swap the meter with Yoda again spread the force side here so we are close to volatile energies already again oh there we go Yoda gone these guys can do some big hits on you so let's use volatile energy now uh, take out Gideon but now he revived himself even though no more endless ranks above everybody still get one revive Let's go after Death Trooper here, because mission before he can put a big hit on your guys as well. There we go, another revive for them. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. So just finish off these two guys. And that should do it. Oh, another revive. <laughs> Get us done. There we go. Call General Skywalker to assist and boom, here we go. And that's how I complete the evasion feat here. Uh, now I'm not saying this is the most optimal team as mentioned. Uh, using Jedi Knight, uh, Luke Skywalker, maybe in place of Bastila here, would be good because then, you know, he can stun as well, boost your uh, damage and things like that. You just gonna have to play around with what you have in the roster. But this is the general idea here when using Jedi to get uh, uh, 10 evasions. And finally, the clone battle here. As mentioned before, uh, my clones, 5 of 1st clones, were not even close of getting uh, the tier 10 done so I did complete tier 6 uh, my bad batch here as you can see they're useless it'll be months before I have them uh, 7 stars and then gear them up and things like that so the best I could do with my clones there was kind of do tier 6 maybe I could push for tier 7 but I, I wouldn't get better rewards anyway but just to demonstrate you let, let, let's first show you what happens uh, on tier 10 uh, with five of first clones. So mind you, all my guys are relic, decent mods on them. Okay, except Cody there is gear 12. Um, let me just, just that you can see what happens, okay? Yep. Oh, I can boost their meter, nice. Okay, I'll just put it over here. And now Piet is gaining all this bonus turn meter because you have no way to stun or daze him. If you hit him, he will counter attack and potentially call somebody to assist and that spells trouble. So you really, it's kind of like, not sure what to do here. You can, okay, let's go after Piet here. All right. Um, you throw an AOE. There we go. There goes Echo already. Uh, try to land a stun. Good luck there. This guy resists everything. His AO finished off with their gear 12 Cody. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> As you can see, nowhere near here. And remember, we have to burn for first three stacks of endless ranks here and then also deal with uh, revive on each uh, because of uh, Moff Gideon there. So tier, I just really don't see any way of uh, getting max rewards here with 501st. But if anyone was able to complete using 501st here, uh, tier 10, I would love to see that battle, how that went. I was trying out 5's lead, Rex lead. Nothing really worked. Uh, so in the end, I settled here for tier 6. Uh, so let me show you here the tier 6 battle. So in tier 6 I was actually able to go first here, which is uh, good. And you know, going after gear 12 troopers shouldn't be a problem here. So you just burn through them, go after dark trooper there. Now dark trooper is a droid, so you know, Echo's grenade can stun droids, which is pretty cool. Do a mass attack over on Gideon. Yeah, so I don't know. I said before, I tried many things there on tier 10. Um, I just, I wasn't even able to outrun Gideon. Uh, I made Rex as fast as I could. He was at 336. Still Gideon went first. But even if I would go first, I mean, because you have no way of controlling their Piet, there's not much really you could do, I think, unless you have Bad Batch leveled up. And there you go. This is how I completed tier 6 here with my clones. Very easy. No issues whatsoever, uh, which obviously then uh, resulted in not max rewards, but second best rewards. And I'll take it. That's okay. It happens. We've got spoiled lately with these galactic challenges uh, that were quite easy to get max rewards for the last few weeks. So, you know, CG decided, you know what, guys? You want max rewards? You got to get your bad batch clones uh, up and running if you want to do it this time. Alright guys, hope you find this video useful and helpful, at least showing you how to complete the terminal removal feat as well as the evasion feat. Um, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.